Ali with Premier 7 Football here to tell you how to find and recruit players uh, for your flag football team. Um, again, I've got lots of experience of recruiting and getting out there and really talking to people, being more personal uh, as a coach, uh, especially for a new sport like flag football. So my main thing was, hey, getting the word out, putting out flyers, uh, sending emails, uh, getting some of the girls together uh, or some of the players together and see if they have, you know, iPhones and things like that. And we would share flyers and do like email blasts. Uh, we'd be airdrop, um, airdrops all on campus to let people know that, hey, flag football is coming and it's going to be on campus. If you're interested, come check us out. Uh, so again, it's important getting the word out. If you got bulletins at school, if you can do flyers and post them up uh, in the hallways, if you can have flyers and, and, and have them post up in the classrooms, you know, get the whole team, get the administration, get all your teachers involved uh, in the process of recruiting flag football players. Okay. The second one is attend all sporting events on campus. As a coach, that was my duty to go to all the sporting events on campus because a lot of your athletes are already playing sports, but there's also a lot of athletes that aren't playing sports. And that's why you got to walk the hallways. You got to walk the hallways. There's a lot of, a lot of athletes on campus that have not been asked uh, to participate in the sports. Uh, and they're just looking for someone to ask. It's not like back when we grew up uh, back in the day when there was a sign posted up on the wall, hey, football tryouts, and everybody went. Now you got to be a little bit more personal. You got to get out there. You got to touch each student on campus and let them know that, hey, you can possibly play on this football team. But again, the most important thing is going to the events on campus, your volleyball matches, your tennis matches, uh, your track and field, your basketball, your soccer, and start identifying some of those great athletes that are out on the football field or out on, on their, in their main sport and find out what they're good at. And then take notes. Okay, when a player asks me, hey, I never played the sport before, but I've seen them play as an athlete, I kind of have an idea of a position for them with best suits, you know, the flag football. Okay, but again, the most important thing is going to the events, showing your face, having flyers, passing them out, uh, talking to parents, talking to teachers, doing those things. Get the excitement going. The excitement has to be going. And again, you got to walk the hallways. Uh, I, I coached at two high schools and I took this approach. I went and had flyers made. I passed out to every young lady on campus. Hey, you should try to play football. Why don't you play football? Don't, don't you ever want to play football? Have you ever played football? So I got questions as I'm handing it out. I'm not just passing them out and being quiet. I'm holding conversation and getting to know their name, getting to be a little bit more personal, and then invite them out. Um, same thing with walking the hallways. There's a lot of athletic uh, students on campus, but just have not been asked on coming out and play. So you got to bring some energy. You got to bring some excitement. You got to do the things that other coaches have not done. That means go out there and recruit. Okay. The next thing is you got to have a player's interest meeting. I mean, if you're going to create all the buzz, you're going to have all the flyers, you're going to get the interest. Then you need to put together a meeting. Again, at both the schools that I participated as a coach, I averaged over 100 girls per interest meeting. And this past, um, this past spring, at a new school that I was at, I wound up having 157 girls show up after school that were interested in possibly playing flag football. So again, you got to have that meeting. You got to create the drive, driving force to get those athletes uh, and those potential players to a meeting so you can sit them down. Okay, once you get them to the meeting, of course, you talk about the overall view of what flag football is all about, but you want to start getting names email addresses. Uh, if you're involved in Huddle, sign them up on Huddle. Uh, we, we, we have another Ready Play Sports is one of our sponsors um, that I, I utilize their app. It's a football learning tool that I use uh, and I sign up everybody there. So I'm always improving football IQ. Even for those who've never played before, we have an app that again provides that information. Okay, so at that meeting, we're going to talk about interest. If I got video, which I have video, and I'm showcasing video of other girls who are playing the sport and showing them that they can be as good, if not better, than the players that I showed them. Okay, at that interest meeting, too, you'll also be able to eliminate those who are not really interested. They might be helpers. They might be uh, managers of the teams. Some might even be coaches. You never know. Um, I've had a couple of student, student coaches intern with me uh, in my process of being a coach. And then lastly, 
once you get the interest meeting, then start up, start setting up what we call off season workouts or what we call player workshops, camps, and clinics. Um, I did something on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday after school. Uh, we call it in the murals, uh, where I was teaching different skill sets every day of playing flag football. So the very first day might be how to catch a ball. Okay, and we all did exercises to catch balls, and we threw the balls, and we, we learned how to catch. You know, the next day was how to pull flags. So that day, for that hour and a half, two hours, we, we utilized that as a camp to pull flags. Uh, the next day was who can throw the ball, who can throw the furthest. So we had a competition, you know, um, utilizing what skill set's going to be needed to play flag football. And again, you can start seeing your athletes in action and start placing things in order, but getting the excitement and getting the players out there. Once you get them into that inner murals and once you get them into those camps and clinics, uh, it's about having fun. Okay. We all know this is a di different generation of athletes. Uh, and so I incorporate a lot of fun in the things that I do. Uh, one, it passes time. Two, it creates the interest in the continuation of the athletes coming back to practice. Okay. The more fun they're having, the less likely they're thinking about how hard they're working. So those are some of the things that I have incorporated uh, in my game plan of recruiting, uh, putting players together, and going through this list. This is a simple checklist, one, two, three, four, and we up out of here, you know. But again, how to find and recruit players? Again, it's about personality. It's about the coach doing what you do and getting help from your teachers and other administrators on campus to create that environment um, as well. So with that, again, I'm Coach Dion Lee. Uh, with Premier 7 Football. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel here on Girls Football Association, but also you can hit me up on Instagram at Coach Dion Lee. Uh, thank you very much.